when it comes to varnishing your acrylic painting there are multiple factors that come into play so if you are here for a very short answer on when to varnish your acrylic painting here it is anywhere between a week to a couple of months for you to decide exactly on when to varnish let's get into some more details and by the end of this video i'm sure you'll have enough information on how to check your painting if it is ready to varnish and when precisely you can varnish it hi this is modula for modula creations and let's get started when you finish any painting the acrylic paint goes through a process of drying and this is very important for you to understand this drying process is actually a two step process so we have two time frames to think about the first stage is where the top layer of the paint dries the top layer dries forming a skin on top of the painting surface we say the painting is dry to touch at this stage by the end of this stage it looks like as if the painting is dry but actually it is not a painting can achieve this stage quickly as only the top layer has to dry so it only takes a very short time for the painting to achieve this stage before we move on to stage 2 if you are new to acrylics download my free guide better your acrylics from the link book.modulacreations.com which has top 25 tips to improve your acrylic paintings and it's completely free in the second stage the paint has to dry for the entire remaining thickness i call it the thorough dry stage as it is the time record for all the water and the solvents to evaporate leaving the acrylic film behind This second stage is the most crucial drying time of the acrylic painting as in this stage is where all the physical properties of your acrylic paints kick in. Only when you allow this stage to happen the painting actually achieves the total hardness, the adhesion to the surface that you painted and all of the other physical properties. So this might take a very long time depending on all the different factors. Now let's see what factors that you need to look out for this drying to happen. The first one is the paint thickness. The thickness of the paint that you lay on the painting surface actually depends on the style and the techniques that you used for painting. For example, if you have used thin layers or glazes of paint, drying time will be a little faster. If you have used thick layers of paint like an impasto style with a palette knife where you have layered thick layers of paint drying time can be weeks to months the painting will be soft to touch for a long even when it is dry to touch in other words even when the stage 1 of the painting is complete that is when the painting is completely dry to touch the painting will remain in stage 2 for a very long time taking a lot of time to dry inside the second factor is the paint additives or the mediums the drying also is influenced by the addition of mediums or gels that you have used for example if you have used acrylic retarders molding paste or even soft gel all of this are going to increase your drying time of your acrylics the next is the temperature and the humidity Temperature is the hotness or coldness so if it is hot it is going to dry faster and if it is cold it is going to take a long time to dry If you are using something external like a hair dryer or a heat lamp to speed up the drying time you need to be very cautious as overheating will cause the acrylic film to burn or bubble and a very low temperature below 10 degrees celsius will not allow the physical properties of the paint to settle in making the paint to crack or lead to poor adhesion on the other hand humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air so high humidity means high amount of water vapor so in turn the drying time of your painting will be slow the ideal condition of a painting to dry is under a constant temperature between 10 degrees celsius to 32 degrees celsius and under a low humidity this ensures that your painting will dry faster the next is the air flow if there is stagnant air with no proper air flow the painting will take a long time to dry also if there is a very strong air current or a strong breeze then it will not allow the painting surface to dry evenly causing the acrylic paint to crack or to wrinkle 
So when to varnish your acrylic painting? The painting should be completely dry passing stage 1 and stage 2 of the drying process. How to know if the painting is dried thoroughly? The painting should not only be dry to touch but you should also be able to take care of the below conditions. The painting should not be tacky or sticky. The painting should not be soft to touch anywhere and it should not be cool. If you have areas in your painting that is tacky, sticky or even soft or cool, it means that the painting is not cured and it is still in its uncured state and thus implying it is not ready to varnish. Going ahead to varnish at this stage will result in cloudiness after varnishing, leaving a white haze. It also leads to poor adhesion of the acrylic paint to the surface as water or solvents can no longer escape. Before going to the final points, for those who are watching me for the first time, I do post video tutorials like this one, product reviews and much more on my channel every single week. So do subscribe and also click on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So ideally if you have painted it very thinly like thin layers of paints or glaze, allow you to completely dry for a week before you varnish and also check on all the above conditions that I have mentioned. And if you have a thick layer of paint, allow it to dry for a couple of weeks before you can just go ahead to varnish it. If you have a very thick layer of paint like a quarter inch of a paint on a surface, then just allow it to dry for a couple of months and check whether it is not tacky, sticky or even soft which will mean the paint inside is still wet. and allow it to properly cure before you can even think about varnishing. An additional tip is to keep your painting in an open area until it is completely dry and not to place it in on any closed storage until it is cured. If you want to know exactly how to varnish your painting, I have done a detailed video showing you the exact steps of how to varnish your small paintings, larger paintings with both liquid varnish and the spray varnish. I have linked it here, go and check it out. Let's see in the next video. Until then, bye from Modula. Happy painting.